Back when I first started affiliate marketing, it was the year 1999. And I remember, back then, we didn't have a whole lot of information like we do today. It was more or less MLM schemes, network marketing, sell some Herbalife, phone company stuff, or get into this new thing called affiliate marketing. And there was a lot of confusion around what affiliate marketing actually was. A lot of people thought it was a scam. Some people thought it didn't work. But I knew, beyond a shadow of a doubt, it was probably the biggest way for ordinary people to make money that the world has ever seen. And I remember sitting there in the living room of a rundown mobile home that later got bulldozed that I lived in with my brother and some friends. And I was thinking to myself, here I am sitting in this junk, yet I have one of the most powerful ways to make money in all of history right at my fingertips. And I remember making my first affiliate commission for $10. I rushed home to show my dad what I had been doing. And I said, Dad, this internet thing called ClickBank sent me a check for $10. And he would laugh and say, well, what is a ClickBank? How is that even real? Are you sure this stuff is legit? Fast forward to the year 2004, when I started promoting smiley faces online. Those little programs that you can send in Skype and text messages that make cute little smiley faces. Back then, I promoted those and got 70 cents every time someone downloaded this giant pack of smileys that they could use for whatever they wanted. I thought, hey, maybe I'll give this a shot. And that year, from October to December, I made over $70,000 promoting smiley faces. I later went on to make millions of dollars promoting very similar products and some other types of products like web hosting, pet insurance, video game software, phone services, internet, lead offers, you name it. At one time, I probably made money with it. And you've probably heard of the one affiliate offer that I had on MySpace years ago on the music page. I actually took a screenshot here and saved it. Yep. That little ad got me about 20 million impressions a day and was responsible for my first year making over $1 million in affiliate commissions. Now, back then I was 24 years old. We had just moved to Northern California, bought our first house, and this affiliate marketing thing was paying off really well. And in just a minute, I'm going to show you what makes this whole thing work. Plus, I'm going to show you how affiliate marketing made me over $6,000 yesterday alone. Plus, I'm going to show you how to get started in affiliate marketing in a super simple way. But first, a story. Remember how I said my dad was laughing at ClickBank and wondering how I was making money online and if it was even legit and real? Well, a couple years ago, when he got really sick, he had asked me to take him on a motorhome trip from California to Alabama. I can't stand motorhomes. They make me sick. They make me feel confined. I just don't like being in them, let alone living in one for like three weeks. However, he was sick. He needed some help. And since I had the time because my affiliate marketing business was automated, I decided to take that trip. And I sure am glad I did. And I remember on that trip, we were driving somewhere around Texas. That state takes like five months to drive through. And he asked me to run in and get some things that he needed to make himself more comfortable on the trip. And so I ran in and he said, oh, hey, hey, how much was it? And I said, dad, don't worry about it. And he said, no, son, how much, how much did you spend in the store? I wanna, I wanna reimburse you. And I said, dad, don't worry about it. Now, keep in mind, my dad taught me a lot about business and I owe a lot of my success to the things that he taught me. And we always had this ongoing joke about how much people were making or what this website did or how his business was doing and different things like that. And so after he pestered me several times, I said, Dad, I made like $20,000 today. And he turned to me and he said, Marcus, you made $20,000 riding around in a motorhome? I mean, I didn't even see you crack open your computer today. And finally, he relented and let me pay for the items that I got in the store. 
And that goes to show the power of what this business can do for you. Never before in history have we been able to share a link to practically the entire world and get paid when they click it, fill out a form, buy something, try out a product, download something, or whatever it is. I mean, just think about the power here. Right now, where you're sitting, you're watching me on the internet. Billions of other people are going to be on the internet today, too. And there's these companies that are willing to pay you when people click a link and perform an action. As Oxford Dictionary says, affiliate marketing is an arrangement in which affiliates receive a commission for each visit, sign up, or sale they generate for a merchant. This arrangement allows businesses to outsource part of the sales process. So what's in it for these big businesses and how does it work? If I'm a business and I want to generate customers, but I don't want to run expensive ads or do anything crazy, all I want is people who are interested in something. Well then, I can put a lead capture form up and tell you I'll pay you a dollar, five dollars, or even a hundred dollars when someone fills out that form. Or let's say I want to generate some sales for my new fancy coffee mug. I could go out there and tell affiliates, well, this mug costs $20. If you make the sale, I'll give you five or 10. Or if you're Amazon, one. More about that in just a minute. But I want you to realize that affiliate marketing has made lots of people millionaires. And I know there's a lot of misinformation going on in this affiliate marketing space. So today, clear your schedule. We're gonna get down to the brass tacks of how affiliate marketing works, what you need to do if you wanna make money with affiliate marketing, some super easy ways to start affiliate marketing even if you're broke, and some ways to get started that you can shortcut if you don't mind investing a little bit. That's right, this is going to be an entire course. And somewhere along the way, I'm gonna show you not only where to get the downloads of the notes that I have on this video, but also a free copy of my affiliate marketing manual. That's right, we're gonna send this out. I'm gonna tell you where to get it in just a little bit. So if you're excited and you're ready to learn how to make affiliate marketing work for you, smash the like button. Your old buddy, the affiliate marketing dude, has got your back. Come on, let's get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Today, what we're gonna do is a full-on affiliate marketing course showing you what you need to know to be able to make money online as an affiliate. Now, I'm gonna try to do the best I can. Been a little under the weather this week, but we're gonna have the show anyway. So, let's dive in. Now, what we have over here, we got our whiteboard set up, so we're gonna go over and map everything out so you understand exactly what's going on. We got the main set set up and everything ready to go. Now, you're gonna be able to get notes from this video at downloadmynotes.com. As you can see, the notes are gigantic. I mean, this is probably like the biggest blog post in the history of, of the world. Well, maybe one of the biggest. And we're going to go through and talk about how this works. And we're also going to have some Q&A. Uh, what I did is before this training, I went through and I asked uh, my subscribers. I said, hey, guys, uh, do you have any questions about affiliate marketing and stuff like that? So we're going to go through that. If we have time towards the end, we will take some questions live from the audience. That's you and get through that as well. Now, first of all, what we need to do is we need to understand how affiliate marketing works. When we're looking at affiliate marketing, we need to understand the basic concept because there's a lot of people out there that are talking about affiliate marketing in different ways and they're actually charging you for affiliate marketing. Now, this is something that started, I think it was like 2003 is when I really saw this got popular, where they would charge you to be an affiliate of a program, which is not affiliate marketing. That's more of a racket. So be wary of that. There's a lot of them out there uh, that I was looking at. And if you guys saw the video I did on TikTok affiliate marketing, you will have seen this search that we did for, uh, don't forget to watch Dave's video on the next page. If you were to search for that in quotes like this, you're gonna see there's like literally hundreds of sites promoting the same exact thing where they charge to become affiliate marketers and stuff like that. That is not a representation of what the affiliate marketing industry is. The affiliate marketing industry started long before some of these guys that are doing all kinds of different things. Now, when we look at affiliate marketing, what we have to do is we have to understand as a whole 
what this is about. It's actually very, very simple. Affiliate marketing, we'll put AFF for short, right? Affiliate marketing is where you have a business, okay? This is your business here. He's got his business and he's doing all kinds of stuff. Maybe he is a pest control business. Maybe he has software. Maybe he's a lead generation firm. Maybe they are generating paid traffic or something like that. Now, when you have the big business like this, they want to get customers, all right? Over here, we have all of our customers that want to buy stuff, all right? We'll put some money in their hands so that they can buy stuff. Now, when we look at this, this customer wants, or this business wants to be linked with these customers, but he doesn't want to go out there and, and spend a fortune and hope that it works. Think about this for a minute. How many times have you watched TV, and maybe you're like me, or not feeling good the other day, and you watch TV during the day just to take your mind off things? And you might have seen an ad for like, hey, if you were in a car accident, call Bob the attorney, or maybe you saw, hey, here's this thing going on, or here you could buy the Snuggy blanket, or whatever it is, okay? Those ads are very expensive, and these businesses know that those ads are very expensive. I'm talking millions and millions of dollars. So what they do is they say, what if we went to affiliate marketers, and we were to find people that maybe can get in touch with these customers that are interested in a Snuggy, or maybe just got a car accident and have a claim to make, or whatever it is. So they take their money, and they are paying for what's called an action. An action, OK? The action can be a sale, a download, a click, a lead, a phone call, anything. Anything that drives people to this person. Because what's happening, and you might have seen it where I think years ago they had that ad on TV for, hey, if you were part of this thing, get this free book that's going to teach you about a lawsuit or something like that. All right? They were generating leads using TV. And when they come here online with affiliate marketing, they might pay someone like me and you $100 to get them to fill out that form. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I did just say you can get up to $100 when people fill out a simple form online. We are going to break that up. Now, I want you to know the results we're going to talk about. I've made close to, or maybe over, I haven't done last year's numbers yet, but I've made close to about $15 million online. Now, a lot of that was with affiliate marketing, and most of it was because of affiliate marketing. And so we look at this and we're like, OK, how does this work? And we need to remember that the results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. While there are lots of people that have made millions of dollars online, the vast majority of people trying to make money online make nothing. So keep that in mind as we go through. This is a business. I am going to treat you guys like business people. And we're going to look at this in a real world way, because I think that once you get it, you'll be able to do it in a simple way. Now, when we look at affiliate marketing, we need to understand how it works. First, you have three parties in affiliate marketing. The merchant, the business we drew up there, the affiliate, that's me, and then your customers. Very simple, OK? So you have those three parts of the affiliate marketing equation. If anyone tries to add to that, right? if they're like, hey, wait a minute, I got an idea. We have party number one, which is the business who wants customers. We got party number three who is the customers, and we have party number two, which is me, the affiliate. All right. When people get creative and they start to say, hey, wait a minute, what if you get affiliates under you? All right. That's not affiliate marketing. That's a racket. All right. You should never be charged to be an affiliate. All right. And you should never have a downline or something like that. That is not affiliate marketing. I know right now on TikTok and everything, there's all kinds of misconception about affiliate marketing. But if you look at it in a real world way, I want you to understand that the possibility of what you have right now, right where you're sitting for free, right? I'm not asking you to pay me anything. The real affiliate companies aren't asking you to pay anything. They want customers, so you can go get customers and make a living in an easy way. So you have three main places or three main parties to the affiliate marketing equation. Number one is the merchant. That's your business, uh, the business that you're promoting. Number two, the affiliate. That's us. And three, the consumer. Now, when you're an affiliate, there's two different things to look at. There's what's known as a publisher and a merchant. Okay, we are publishers. We are publishing content to get people 
to do different things. Now, to show you what this looks like, we're going to look at a bunch of different sites here. We're going to be looking at OfferVault, which is an affiliate network we use often. It's not a network, it's a search engine. ClickBank, we use them quite a bit. Digistore24, which is popular. Uh, JVZoo here. Amazon and several others. Now we're also going to be looking at like Pinterest and stuff like that because a lot of people say, well, Marcus, can you do affiliate marketing without a website, without money, without anything? Yes, you can. It's actually extremely simple. Now, is it recommended to do this without a website? No, it's not. Because what you're going to do is you're going to build a huge thing. It's going to be huge. When something changes, it's going to be gone. I've been there, done that, learned that the hard way in about 2006. I was promoting um, cursors, the little, uh, like a mouse cursor. You know, you could turn your cursor from an arrow to a baseball bat or a basketball. And I got paid when they downloaded it. And I noticed that I was promoting all of this stuff and my affiliate links were ranking in the search engines. And you might be saying, well, Marcus, isn't that amazing? You got your affiliate links to rank in the search engines. And it was pretty cool, right? I was like, hey, this is great. I'm getting uh, lots of traffic. And I was making about six figures a month at that time. And then all of a sudden, they were like, we're going to change our affiliate link structure. Everything I had built was gone overnight. I mean, imagine that. You're like, hey, I'm making six figures a month. And overnight, I got to figure out something and change this because a lot of it's gone. Now, Pinterest, can you do that? Yes, you can. Um, TikTok, can you do that? Yes, you can. YouTube, all of this stuff, everything that you're going to see online hinges on two main things. It's either affiliate marketing or selling of your own products or merchants or Shopify or whatever it is, right? What we're looking at is two main things. And there are two sides to the coin. And there are not three sides. There's just two, all right? Side number one is traffic. If you are an affiliate and you don't know how to get traffic, newsflash, you're not an affiliate. That is the job of the affiliate. Plain and simple, the job is to get traffic. So while we talked about those, those people on TikTok that were making terrible videos, they were like literally like snapping around and pointing at stuff and driving traffic to an MLM type kind of thing. All right? While I don't agree with what they're promoting, the video style is working for them. It is getting traffic. So on one side of the coin, what they're doing is they are affiliates. Now, the scheme that they're promoting is a little bit different. So as an affiliate, there's either traffic or the other side, which is conversion or money. Okay. Now, as a basic affiliate marketer, most of you guys are not going to have much control over conversion other than what you do in your traffic, right? What you do in your traffic that sends them over to the offer is going to help convert. Like if I say, hey, click here to win a prize, and then I send them to buy something, that's not going to convert good. But if I say, hey, check it out, you could get X, Y, and Z over here when you buy this product, OK, that's going to convert a little bit better. So we have traffic and conversion. If you are not working on either of these, you're wasting your time. All right, I get people all the time. They're like, oh, hey, I'm going to learn how to make you know, Alex Hormozy videos. OK, well, first you need to get traffic. If you are not focusing on this, you are not an affiliate. This is what an affiliate is, the basic idea. Case in point, let's talk about Oprah. All right, Oprah has this same kind of model. A lot of people have in business what they call the Oprah effect. Now it's being called the TikTok effect, which we'll talk about in a minute. The Oprah effect was that Oprah, I think she had curly hair, all right, draw Oprah here. Pardon me, Oprah, terrible drawing. But if you have Oprah over here, what people would say is, hey, if I go on the Oprah show and talk about my new book, right? I just got this book, I'm gonna be reading this. Looks like a good book, right? Um, if I have this book and I go on Oprah, it's going to be an instant bestseller. I am instantly going to have a business. She was responsible for making the law of attraction as popular as it is today. We won't fault her for that. She might not have known. But at any rate, we look at it and we're like, OK. So literally, she was like the affiliate. She had the audience. They had the product. Audience, product, two sides of the coin. That is what affiliate marketing is about. Now, when we look at this, there are different sides to the coin. Because if you can learn 
how to get traffic. If that's all you learn, if you're like Marcus, I just want to learn how to get traffic because basically you are the affiliate marketing dude, which is the traffic dude. If I had no traffic, I'd just be the marketing dude with nobody to market to. I'd just be the dude, right? And so we look at that, we're like, okay, what types of things can we promote? Now, can I go and build a following on Pinterest, TikTok, YouTube, and these other platforms? Absolutely, 1,000%, it is not hard to do. The problem is, people aren't focused on what they're promoting. They are not getting a tight-knit group of people interested in something. When we look at the gals that were on TikTok that were promoting the stuff that was not my favorite kind of stuff to promote, it was uh, a biz op kind of thing that I, I didn't really agree with. Um, they are getting a following in a tight-knit group of mostly uh, stay-at-home moms that want to make money. That's what they're doing. So in that aspect, that is something that you can do. Now, do you have to be in that type of market? No. Is that the most profitable market? No. Is that the most profitable product? No. I look at their traffic stats and my earnings per click. Again, if you're an affiliate, you need to know this stuff. EPC is our Bible. This is our Bible. A lot of people say, Marcus, you know, if I'm doing videos on YouTube, how do I get monetized? Well, you're not going to focus on monetization because that, it's okay. I mean, you know, I get a decent amount of money. Basically, the money I make monetizing this channel goes back into making good videos for you so that I could teach you. I don't, I don't really take much of a profit there. But how I monetize on the back end is important because what we need to know is once someone watches a video, or looks at a TikTok, or looks at your Pinterest, okay? Once this happens, how much am I getting for every visitor who goes to the link I'm sending them? EPC is earnings per click. <clears throat> Excuse me, getting over a cold. Earnings per click is super, super important because if I know this number overall, I am going to win. Okay, if I know this number overall, I'm going to win. If I don't, I'm going to lose. So write that down. EPC is super important. All right, when we're looking at our EPC over here, we need to know what this is going to look like. What are the products we can promote? We're going to need to get our other board over here because we're running out of space. All right, we're going to try our best here to get you guys all the info to be good affiliate marketers, all right? So now, when we're looking at this, we're gonna look at various types of affiliate marketing. We have pay per sale, okay? Pay per sale is obvious. This is like uh, ClickBank, okay? If I go to ClickBank and I promote an offer, what am I gonna make? Or if I go to OfferVault and I do cooking, right? If I do cooking, I can see here, we have some kind of coffee, we have Teflon pans, uh, we have organic snack bars, this stuff here, okay? What I'm looking at is what is the EPC. Now the EPC is broken down into a very, very simple equation, okay? When we're looking at the EPC, are we on this camera? I think so, one of them, all right? We'll try, okay? EPC is broken down into what you make earnings, commission on commission, okay? So if you get $10 per lead, $50 per sale, you're gonna take the amount you earn on the conversion, let's say it's $100, and you are going to divide it by the number of clicks you got. Pretty simple. Now I remember years ago, um, I was talking to a buddy of mine, Nick Nimmin, and he has a great channel about how to grow YouTube. Fantastic guy. Him and his brother are just great, good people all around. And uh, I was talking to him and we did a video and he had said, Marcus, you know, I noticed that you, you tell people to go to the website a lot, which is good, but how did that work out? And I had told him, well, of the people who watched the video, 10% went to the website, 7% of the total video people actually put their name and email in. And I was like, he's like, wow, you know all these numbers? And I'm like, yes. This is what I do for a living. I'm an affiliate marketer. I need to know these numbers. If you don't like numbers, get a calculator. Start liking numbers. Because like, I mean, what is money? Money is numbers. So if you don't like numbers, 
it's pretty clear why you're not getting a lot of money because you know that's what that's what money is. So we're looking at this and we're like, okay, I need to see what is going to make me the most and also be within my ethics wheelhouse. As affiliate marketers, it is your job to take care of ethics, just like we talked about with the TikTok people. Affiliates that promoted the MOBE online income scheme, right? It was my online business empire. The dude got sued. So did some affiliates because they were promoting something that at the end of the day, if they didn't know it was shady, then they probably shouldn't be business people because that was like as plain as, as day. And so we got to look at that. At the end of the day, you are responsible. If you're worried about it, promote good stuff. Promote a pan or a, a, a steak knife set or, or something that is good and awesome and honest, right? Like I can go out there and I can do, um, I can promote Norton. Just the other day, um, I got a new computer and I had to get Norton on it. And, you know, it was a pain in the neck to order it because it was like, oh, you have to have LifeLock. And I'm like, I don't want LifeLock. I just want Norton. This one here, um, $70 a sale, $110 a sale. Now, with this, you are piggybacking on that brand, right? Like, everybody knows Norton, so it's going to be easy to convert. Now, you might be saying, well, Marcus, how would I get traffic for this? How would this work? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is where affiliate marketing comes into play, okay? When we're looking at affiliate marketing, we're going to go out there and we're going to say, okay, so what my job is, is to get a targeted audience, okay? This is where we're going to separate the big players from the people who don't know what they're doing or think they know what they're doing. We are going to build something of value that they want. So what would people of value want? Well, first of all, we, ask, we have to ask ourselves, well, who would want this Norton thing? Right? Who, who would want that? Well, I'll tell you who would want that. Lots of people would want it. All right? Maybe we could go over here, and we can look on Pinterest or TikTok or whatever, or even YouTube. Let me pull up YouTube in another tab, and I'll show you exactly what this looks like. And if you guys are digging this, smash a like button. My head's a little foggy from being sick, and we got a lot of stuff that I have to keep track of here. So if you appreciate it, uh, let me know. All right, so we're going to go over here, and we are going to do, um, let's do Windows Virus, OK? So if we go to YouTube, and we look at like Windows viruses, OK? So like this guy here. I downloaded the most dangerous computer viruses. He got 373,000 views in one month. How many of you guys watching this are like, oh, Norton would probably work really well on something like that? Now, again, as affiliate marketers, we need to be in it to win it. If I wanted to be in that market, <clears throat> which I have been in markets like that before, what I did is I got a junker computer, I tested it out, I documented what worked, and I sold virus programs. Very simple right? Antivirus and, and Norton and things like that. You can also see all kinds of other stuff where they are getting, like here's one, clean any malware off any computer free simple program. Okay, good. You teach the free program, you point them to the other stuff so that they don't get viruses or whatever. So your job would be <clears throat> going out there and finding people who would be interested in this stuff. Now, I like to use tools like the Ahrefs keyword tool or SEMrush to find out what people are looking for. That way I'm not just guessing, right? I want to go out there and I want to say, okay, well, maybe they're looking for remove exe, all right? Exe is a, a common type of uh, file that commonly has viruses in it. How to remove different exes. You could even do remove from Windows, right? People looking to remove things from Windows or maybe even you can do something like, um, Windows 11 won't. What won't their computer do? Um, Windows 11 doesn't. And now your job, plain and simple, in addition to spelling correctly, does int. There we go. I think I got it. Right? In addition to, OK, Windows 11 errors or something like that. Okay, And you could do this in an easy way. If we open up ChatGPT, you can ask it for the most common Windows errors. You could do Windows error right like this. And bada bing, bada boom, there you go. So now your job as an affiliate is like, OK, so what am I going to do? If I'm going to do that Norton thing, what am I going to do 
every day, all day, as an affiliate marketer. Let's say I wanted to make $100,000 a year <clears throat> promoting the Norton affiliate program. Okay, first, let's see, I think it was $70. Was it something like that, Norton? Yeah, so $70, $110. So let's call it, let's call it $100. Okay, so $100 per sale. All right, so now let's break out the math. All right, again, Norton doesn't charge me anything. I don't need to sign up and pay some fancy fee to some guy who, whatever. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sign up and I'm going to start promoting this. So, $100, all I need to do is get 1,000 signups a year. Okay, Norton sells like probably 80 million people a year. So, me getting 1,000 isn't going to really be that big of a deal. Okay? <clears throat> now, when we look at that, that is about three people a day. Do you not think that if you spent time, effort, and did it like you mean it, you can't get three people a day to sign up to Norton? Like, how many of you guys are like, what? Smash a like button, type three sales in the box if you're like, oh, okay, so now three sales. Now again, ladies and gentlemen, remember that number we talked about over here? I'm going to try really hard to remember that this is a permanent pen, and that is a whiteboard one. We're going to try very hard. All right? Whiteboard pen, because that would be a pain. I'd have to get a whole new whiteboard. We're going to look at this number again, the EPC. All right, so EPC. If we have $100 per sale on Norton, let's say I get one out of 250 to sign up. That means I send 250 people to my link, and one signs up. Okay, That would be about... 25 cents EPC, earnings per click. People click, I get 25 cents. That would mean that I would know, and that's pretty conservative. I could probably get better than a 1% conversion rate. This is like a 0.5% conversion rate or something like that. But I could probably get 1% or higher, especially since Norton is good. But let's just make the math easy here. That would mean that all I would need to do all day, every day, is focus on how am I going to get my 750 people. Okay, so that's what you'd have to do. You'd have to get 750 people at that conversion rate every day. So you're letting 750 people stop you from $100,000 a year, technically. Okay, now I think I can convert better. I could probably whittle that down to about 200 and get three conversions. I don't think that'd be too difficult. Norton's a huge name. So now, my job would be, well, Marcus, I don't know about uh, viruses. I don't know about computers. I don't figure it out. You want to be a good affiliate, you got to figure it out. It's not that difficult. Adam says, how would you get permission from Norton? Excellent question. So what we're doing is we are actually looking at OfferVault over here, which has the offer. So I could go to V Commission, 2 by 2 Media, Max Bounty, Guru Media, all of these affiliate networks have this offer. So what happens is there's there's a, a kind of like a second party-ish person. Okay, so where we talked about this here, where you have the affiliate, you also have affiliate networks. Now affiliate networks make our job easy because they will have a bunch of offers we can use. So if you sign up at Max Bounty, you're gonna get thousands of offers you could promote right now and get paid and you get one check or wire um, every week, depending on how much money you make, for all the stuff you're doing. Impact Radius, Commission Junction, Rakuten, all of these are giant affiliate networks. You have the relationship with them. It's not like you have to go and talk to the CEO of Norton or something like that. They do all this for you. Um, back when I promoted Miva, which is a huge company, um, I didn't meet people in Miva till I hit seven figures. Like After I hit seven figures, they're like, can we fly you out and like take you out on the town. We, we like you making us money. Um, but it wasn't until then that I even knew who these people were. I actually didn't really know it was Miva until later when I figured out the parent companies and stuff like that. So affiliate networks are a big, big part in this equation. A lot of people get confused with OfferVault. OfferVault is a search engine. That's all it is. They say, how do you make money with OfferVault? You don't. 
Offer Vault is a search engine where you find offers. I could go here and I could say I want gardening offers and it'll find gardening offers and stuff like that. Okay, so very, very simple. So now let's take a look at some of the other methods of getting paid. Very, very important. Uh, what if you're new to Offer Vault and don't have any traffic or anything? What you're going to do is you're going to focus on your following. This is a great question. If you are new and you're like, Marcus, I, I don't know anything. I don't have any traffic. I just watched your video. I've never been an affiliate marketer a day in my life. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to get your following. Nobody ignores a following. All right, I get busy. I get emails all the time. I get emails every day. Hey, you want to promote my stuff? Hey, you want to promote my stuff? Hey, you want... No, I don't want to promote your stuff. I don't even want your email, right? I get them all day, every day. However, if someone said, Marcus, go over here. This is my TikTok. I got a million people on TikTok, and they all watch me talk about money. And I'd like to have you share your stuff. Now I'm going to listen. If you have a following, people will listen. Now, a following can be a blog with traffic. It could be a, a medium post with traffic. It could be a Pinterest account that has a lot of people looking at it. It could be a TikTok. It could be a, an Instagram or a Facebook. It could be literally anything. That's the following. And a following costs nothing to get. You just have to stay the course and stay one niche specific. And if you said, hey, I got a thousand people a day watching my videos about, about how to remove viruses, bada boom, bada bang, I am now doing very well. They're going to listen. Norton's not going to ignore that. My affiliate marketer manager over at Max Bounty is not going to ignore that. This is a tip. If you want to sign up for an affiliate network, don't just sign up, ask them and tell them what you want to promote. Say, hey, I got this Pinterest. It's all about tiny houses. I want to promote this tiny house offer. That's going to get you in like Flynn. All right, so some of the other ways to get paid, pay per sale, which is obvious. This is one very popular with like ClickBank, different things like that, where you sell a product and you get paid on the sale. I do this all the time with web hosting, with software, um, all different kinds of things like that that work extremely well. All you got to do is set something up. Now, you can see here, if you were to go to affiliatemarketingdude.com slash host, this is my hosting affiliate sales page. This page has made me somewhere close to $500,000. And this one here, right like this, is just showing them how to sign up for web hosting to start a blog. And as you see here, I am redirecting my affiliate links. However, some people put raw affiliate links. It's up to you. I, I like to have my own links. That way I remember everything, which we'll talk about in um, a very simple way as well. So this is an example. Another one, I did one for um, domains, for a domain software, keyword software, all kinds of stuff like that. That's where I'm getting paid per sale. Someone signs up. I get paid. Now, there are several affiliate models that will do pay per sale, but it's on a different basis, right? So you might get paid $100 when they buy a $20 product. More about that in just a minute. Another one is pay per click. Now, pay per click is going to be kind of like an AdSense model. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Google does do affiliate marketing. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Amazon does do affiliate marketing. Faith, these big companies do affiliate marketing. So if you're wondering if affiliate marketing is legit, it's 2024. You need to ask a different question. It's legit. It just it, it depends on the manner in which you're doing it. And there is a big change coming to affiliate marketing we'll talk about in a little bit. Another one would be like pay per lead. All right, pay per lead would be like if you go to Offer Vault and maybe you do something like, um, let's say... Uh, refinance, refinance, okay? Sometimes with refinance, all right, this wants to freeze on us, apparently. Let's open it over here. Yeah, come on, hold on one second. So over here, what we're going to do is we're going to open up Offer Vault, and we're going to type in refinance, refinance, not garden refinance, refinance. We don't need to refinance our garden. I think the garden's going to be okay without an influx of cash. All right, there we go. Okay, so we'll do something like this, 
and we have refinance. Now, on the refinance ones, again, watch out for stuff that's shady. Sometimes there are shady ones, things like that, okay? Um, this one here is debt settlement. This is a phone call. This is a credit card submit, so technically the offer is free. However, you would be paid $35 when they sign up for the free credit score. These are great offers. They work well. And ladies and gentlemen, if you go to TikTok and you look at like, uh, let me do this over here, just make sure it's clean. We'll do credit score, okay? What you will see is a lot of people talking about credit scores. 300,000, 215, on and on we go. And so now we're like, oh, wait a minute. So these people are talking about how to do their credit score. These are lead offers for credit score, credit score, okay? And now we're like, oh, so I could literally be like, step one, check your credit score, see where you're at. Step two, maybe check out the identity uh, protection or whatever it is. And now you're like, oh, okay. Again, what you are going to do is you're gonna be very, very one track. Don't go all over the place. Pick one market and stick to it and do it well. And you can do two or three, but, but stay very focused, okay? Um, Ali says, how do you promote your affiliate link to Freeway? They're doing it right here. So when you look at these videos on credit score, these people are getting traffic. You could put your raw affiliate link there. Do I advise doing that? No. Spend the nine bucks, get a website, go to gohubsite.com, learn how to do it the right way. All right, but you can do it. There are people that do it. Now, one of the downsides to using the free version uh, where you're gonna just do an affiliate link is you can't really do an affiliate disclaimer because you don't own that link. And by law, you do need to disclose you are an affiliate. If you don't do that, you can get in hot water. Don't mess with it, right? Always tell people you're an affiliate. So paper lead is one of the good ones. Now, sometimes there are offers that are called email submit. Okay, and email submit might pay you when someone puts their email in and clicks a button to get a free thing, right? So like you guys know that every week on my videos, I tell you to go to downloadmynotes.com to put your name and email in. Now I know that people that put their name and email in are interested in my stuff, they wanna work with me, it works well. So what if I paid for people to fill this out? I know it's profitable, that would be an example, okay? now. When you're dealing with email submits, sometimes you'll go down usually in like the, the four, three dollar range. All right, like this Experian one. Get your free credit score, two dollars and 90 cents. Now this one here, let's see what it converts on. Usually it'll tell you, but if it says email submit, chances are they're paying two dollars and 90 cents when someone puts their email, hits submit, and gets a free credit score. They don't even need to get the, they just email submit, I get 290. I have made hundreds of thousands of dollars, probably a million, but I haven't promoted them in a while, so I haven't done the numbers, but I've made a lot of money with email submit offers, and they work extremely well when done right, and ladies and gentlemen, these are the best thing to put on your thank you page. Let me show you how it works, all right? A lot of people out there are gonna say, well, Marcus, you know, I'm just gonna go out there, and I'm gonna do the free TikTok method. Okay, fine, great, wonderful. But I know a lot of people on TikTok, and I know they get a lot of traffic, and I know they don't make a lot of money. And I know people that have 500,000, a million TikTok subs or, or likes or whatever the heck TikTok has, right? Followers, something like that. And they're making like $1,000 a month, and I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You please pay attention to your old buddy Marcus here, right? So what you have here is let's say you have a bunch of videos on credit score, all right? You go down the list, use your AWeber, or your, your um, use your Ahrefs. See what happens when Marcus has a sick brain, right? Sick, I was ill for the last couple days. I got asthma really bad, and I couldn't sleep because they gave me medicine, and it was a mess. But let's say you go out there and you're like, okay, uh, Windows updates, or maybe you're gonna do something for like uh, credit repair. Okay, how many of you guys want a little hack right here, right now, that will make you money if you do it? Okay, I can't guarantee it because I don't know what you're gonna do, but it's pretty darn close to guarantee, right? You guys want a hack? Tell me, say, Marcus, show me the money if you guys wanna see that. So here we see like credit repair, credit score, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down the list and you make videos on credit score 600, credit score 500, credit score 532, credit score this, how to improve your credit score, what to, all things credit score, okay? 
Now, to show you the money, let me show you a little tip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go credit score glossary. Credit score glossary. I type this in. I take some of the top sites. I'm going to put these in my keyword tool. Okay? Yes, there are some things I'm going to teach that are going to cost a little money. Right? You need a good keyword tool. If you're trying to make it without it, you can. But, I mean, literally, it's like a hamburger. Come on. It's not that, that big of a deal. You got to be in it to win it. Okay? And I don't get nothing when you sign up. So, I ain't got nothing in this game here. I'm just showing you exactly what you need to do. If you were to do credit education glossary, you're going to find all different kinds of keywords that people search for related to it. So you could literally go, hi there, I'm on TikTok today and I'm going to talk about the credit bureau definition. Video number two, today we're going to talk about loan terms and what they mean. Tomorrow, the definition of a credit report. Okay, And it's going to get even deeper than that because we can actually go up a level and just do the credit education. All right, now here's how to use a loan calculator. Here's how to understand what a credit freeze is. And you just teach things. Literally, you go out there and you teach stuff and you're like, hey, we're going to show you this. Let's say you're in the, uh, the weight loss niche. All right, you go out there and you're like, intermittent fasting glossary. And this is what you're going to do your videos on. Now, is every video going to be a zinger, get you a million views? You're going to be sitting on a hill with your feet clicked up, having a nice day? Of course not. It's going to take some work. It's going to take some work. Everyone's got to pay their dues. You got to do the stuff. It's not that hard to do. We talk about how to jumpstart this with domains. We've got a lot of people that are in Blog Profit Network that are doing this on a daily basis, and they're getting tons and tons of traffic. They're getting results. They're making money, and it works. Uh, Matt did a press release, and he, he got paid like the second day put it up second day you got paid again you got to learn the the basics of how this works so when you're looking at this okay let's take intermittent fasting glossary all right and we will take let's just do glossary and we're going to take this and put this in here and i guarantee you're going to get all kinds of content ideas in one main deal uh, ahrefs is a lot of hamburgers well it depends on what you want like, I, I would venture to say that, you know, people that are complaining about the cost of a keyword tool, they probably could afford it if they really wanted to. If not, there are free versions if you're willing to do the work. It's not that hard. So here we have, like, uh, push, pull legs, uh, upper, lower drop sets. But, so this is all about workouts. So you could go out there, right? You don't have to be on camera. You could use stock footage. You can use animated videos, whatever you want, talking about, hey, here's 10 things to eat post-workout. Here's what to eat pre-workout. You're going to drive people to a common theme. What you are as an affiliate marketer is you're taking people in a common theme, and you're helping them. Okay. Now, you can get people that are basic in the, the process of understanding, oh, I want to work out. What do I need to learn? All right. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to build up your group, your traffic around this. Yes, it can be free. Yes, you can use free tools to do everything. If you wanted to use the Hoth keyword tool, okay, the Hoth, I don't know if it does like the URL types. But you could do that, the Hoth free keyword tool right here. Okay, So you could go to the Hoth free keyword tool and use something like this. Let's turn the screen on so you can see. There we go. The Hoth keyword tool like this. And you can see, hey, check it out. This is what people are searching for. This will give me the ideas. And it would be nice if the Hoth decided to work. But you know, oh, wait, there we go. I think we got to do the domain. There we go, keyword extraction. Or it might be SEO checker tool. One of these. Not that one. OK, come on. Tools, SEO rankings checker, something like this. Yeah, there we go. Right, And you can put this in here. No, it's still free. There it is right there. Right. Um, and you can see, there, actually, yeah, it did. It did do a good job of, of getting those keywords. Now, you only get 50 on this, so you're going to have to use it sparingly. What I would do is I would go to something like ChatGPT, Okay, and I would ask it, what are some things, what are some good video topics 
for people who like to work out and use supplements and eating styles. Okay? And if you pick a niche that you're interested in, it's going to be a lot easier. Very, very simple. Right? And now we're there and we're like, okay. Now, Sayak says, what about the Google Keyword Planner? Google Keyword Planner is for paid traffic specifically. So what Google Keyword Planner is not going to do is it's not going to isolate plurals, singulars, long tail. It's my, mainly for pay-per-click, which is a more broad type way of marketing. So here we see, now you have your, your list out for you. And if you go out there and you're like, okay, uh, maybe I can go do workout stuff or pre-workout or um, different things like that, or maybe budgeting. And these are types of affiliate um, marketing things that people don't talk about because they're not like pretty wonderful examples. Everyone likes the, the juicy examples. But there's a gal, I think she's called Miss Excel. And this gal literally makes videos on how to like do stuff in Excel. She's making a million dollars a year plus. That's what she's doing. We saw the example of the gal on TikTok. I talked about it. You guys should watch You got to be binge watching my videos. I talk about this stuff all the time. There was a gal on TikTok that sold pickles. She had like little pickle jars and said, oh, here's how to pickle things. Now, she did it wrong because she thought, oh, what a good idea. I'll sell pickles out of my garage. And it's like, yeah, your garage isn't really a kitchen and chipping pickles is like dangerous and you don't have a license to ship them. So, you know, maybe you want to do that stuff first, but... Had she been affiliate marketer, what does she have? She has a bunch of people interested in pickling. What would happen if she's like, oh, here's a list of all the things I use to do my pickles on Amazon. And you got the jars and the lids and the sealers and the vinegars and whatever else it is. And she literally made 300K in sales for her pickles, which she had to give a lot of it back. But if she did the affiliate thing, she did the work of getting the audience. That's where the money came from. Oprah did the work of getting her audience. That's where the money came from. If you build an audience in a specific need and you follow along and you do not get sidetracked and you say, what I'm going to do is keep on the theme. I'm going to talk about Excel until I'm tired of Excel. I'm going to talk about spreadsheets till I'm tired of this. I'm going to talk about planning or gift wrapping or whatever it is in your niche. Then everything else is gravy. Because once you understand, now I have these people. Now I have the stuff. Maybe you're talking about ways to speed up internet. Speed up internet. Check this out. All right, we say speed up internet. Here's how to get faster Wi-Fi. Uh, how to fix slow internet. 16 million views. Uh, you got 630,000, 7 million. On and on we go. How to get faster internet, that's what they're talking about. All right, let's go over to OfferVault. Let's see if we can make money with this. Internet. Let's do um, cable or what do you call it? What is it called? Spectrum. Spectrum internet. All right, so Spectrum pays $20 on a 120-second phone call. You can even do um, internet. Okay, so you got internet, fiber, broadband. All right, people come around every day asking me to sign up for fiber. I'm probably going to sign up for it. But and anyway, they, they're always wanting me to sign up for fiber. And they came to the door the other day, and they're like, hey, we'll give you a $300 gift card if you sign up for fiber. I'm like, I'll probably do it anyway, but sure, I'll take some free money. And uh, why would the company give them 300 bucks? Why? Why would they do that? So think about this for a minute. This company was literally out here digging holes and putting fiber in the ground, which cost a lot of money. Then they're going to pay someone 300 bucks to get me to sign up. Why? Why? Because they know if I sign up, I'll probably be with them like 10 years. And $100 a month times 10 years is more than $300. If you understand this, type 100x if you understand this. Because this is the essence of affiliate marketing. And whenever you're getting involved in something to make money online, it needs to make sense. If this does not make sense, you should go do something else and not be an affiliate marketer. If 
a business model that someone is pitching does not make sense and you don't know how you're going to get paid or why, then you don't know what you're doing. Don't sign up. Okay? This needs to make sense. It must make sense. And we need to look at this and say, okay, with this, what are we going to do? Okay, we got all these different things. We got all these different products we can do. I can go out there and do, okay, uh, how to speed up internet. Faster internet. Okay, years ago, someone made a site that allows you to check your internet speed. Do you know how much money they've made by creating that site? Probably more than like all of us watching this combined. Maybe not that much, but it's a lot. And what they have is a speed test internet speed test and it tests the speed and it made a ton of money why because they are promoting these offers well not those ones where'd they go these offers these internet offers right there that's how they make money they are affiliate marketers and when you understand it's about getting to that now we have paper sale the obvious one paper click paper lead paper call Paper call is like this one, T-Mobile. Customer calls the number, so instead of an affiliate link, you get a phone number. It's a custom phone number that only you have that when someone calls it and stays on for 90 seconds, you get 16 bucks, as long as they're interested in DirecTV, Spectrum, T-Mobile. Like if they call and they're like trying to order a pizza, you're not gonna get paid, obviously, right? Um, or you might get paid on that one and then they'll be like, hey, Get rid of this affiliate. But it has to be legit and it has to be good stuff. So those are the ways to get paid. Now, when you get into two-tier and multi-tier affiliate programs, this is where you get into hot water. This is something ClickFunnels did years ago, and I believe they stopped because the agencies were like, hey, you know what? This is looking a little pyramidy because if I do, here's me promoting to customers, that's one level. Let me go over here. Or we'll draw it over here. Me promoting to customers, that's one level. If I now promote people and get paid on those people's sales, now we're getting into affiliate, uh, we're getting into network marketing MLM category. What happens with these is it becomes less about the main product and more about promoting to other people. That is, in my opinion, not a good business model, right? I mean, it can be like there were some companies that did it right very few and very far between i will say that most of them you see popping up in your feed are probably junk when you see hey sign up to be an affiliate and then sign these people up to be an affiliate and then get more affiliates it's all about recruiting it doesn't even matter what the product is which means it's probably on the shady side so we got to look at that because as affiliate marketers if you want to make money you need to be able to be in it to win it and understand what's going on. So multi-tier, um, that's what we're looking at. We went over affiliate networks, okay? Now, here are some of the major affiliate networks, okay? Um, affiliate marketing with William says, how is MLMs are still considered legit? Probably because of lobbying. I'm going to guess there's someone with a big fat wallet that lobbies, and that's why they continually are business models. But again... I've never in my life, and I've been doing this 25 years, I've never seen an MLM that is mostly focused on the product. Never seen it. Um, and a lot of them with affiliate marketing, you know, they try to attach affiliate marketing with their MLM scheme. It's not, right? Like some things that got me, like when I saw that Sam Bankman Freed thing, the dude was literally paying people to promote his stuff and claiming you're gonna get an investment. Like, how are people so convinced by this guy, right? And you see, like, um, these other people. Every day, I see these people that DeFi people. Or we're going to do DeFi. We're going to do crypto. And every week, they're promoting a new crypto as an affiliate. And it's like, it goes bust. And then they promote the next one. And it goes bust. And it's like, you're just ripping people off. Like, you know these are not good cryptos. And you're promoting them. That's not affiliate marketing, that's shady. All right, we need to understand that. Now, some legit programs. You got Amazon Associates, Share a Sale, CJ Affiliate, ClickBank, Rakuten. A lot of these have things, like you can go and, and be an affiliate for Nike, or you can be an affiliate for coffee companies, or literally anything. 
There are affiliate networks for everything. Now, the benefits of joining a network, as we mentioned earlier, is you get under their umbrella. They are there to help you and get you stuff. Now, be careful because not everyone is as ethical and honest as we would like. And I have had people blatantly rip off some of my affiliate sites. It's rare, but it can happen. So keep your cards close to your chest. Now, when you're choosing affiliate programs, what we're going to look at is, again, the EPC. What is going to make us the most and be the most ethical? How am I going to do this? I can go to Amazon and I can promote, let's say, um, steak knife. Uh, let's do pans. Pans. Okay? If I was going to promote pans, let's say I want to do TFAL. Okay? This is a lesson in Affiliate Marketing 101. This is important. Pay close attention. When we look at something like TFAL, $199 on Amazon. Amazon pays 1% commission to sell that. Now, Amazon converts like crazy because all you have to do is look at Amazon and they ship it to your door and charge you. That was a joke. Calm down. It just means it's easy to order. Um, so when we look at TFAL like this, I would get $2 to sell this $200 set. I don't like that. That is too low. You need a lot of traffic to make money. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, maybe there's a TFAL over here or, or uh, pans, pans, pots, um, something like that. Uh, let's see. No, we don't want that. Let's do cookware. 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 There we go. TFAL cookware. Cookware. We will spell this correctly. TFAL cookware. Okay, so TFAL cookware, this one pays $35 to sell the same thing. Here's some other one, cast iron, $21 to, say, to do the same thing. And so we're starting to look at that and do that. Um, only one ever, Ameriplan. Yes, I did promote Ameriplan. I have a beef with them because I was one of their first um, online promoters, and I didn't do any recruiting. I never recruited one person. Um, but with, uh, uh, with Ameriplan, I had a website that outranked them, and I got too many sales. And back in like 2002, that is why they changed their, their, um, their amounts. Like you had to have a certain amount of offline sales. And I was like, man, you guys literally just took money from me. But there you go. Um, but yeah, it, the product wasn't that great. Like it was okay, um, but it didn't really... It wasn't, it wasn't what I thought it was cracked up to be. But at any rate, um, Ameriplan was an interesting one. Again, that was an MLM, so you know, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, but I, think I, I don't think I promoted that since like 2002. Um, yeah, that one, and a lot of people did um, you know, prepaid legal and stuff like that, with all kinds of stuff. But again, a lot of it was, was based on uh, recruiting. OK, so types of commission instructions. You have percentage, fixed, tiered, or bonuses, uh, much like anything else, what we're focusing on is the percentage and the fixed rate. That's what we're looking at, okay? Now, when we're looking at that, what we want to do is look at earning potential. Again, if I promote this TFAL, $45 a sale, versus getting $2 at Amazon, do you see the difference? Right, like all I need is a good landing page. And if this landing page is good, which it looks like it is, okay, and it converts, then I should be able to make a heck of a lot more money. Very, very, very important. So we're going to look at that and be like, OK, this is good. This makes sense. OK, again, it is your job to make sure you make the most money possible. Now, when you create an affiliate link, it's actually extremely easy. Let me see if we can go and create one now. Um, let's see. Let's go to, uh, which one do I have open here? Let's do impact. So if I go to like impact radius or something, I'll show you how to create an affiliate link. It's actually super, super easy. Actually, do I need, I might have two factor on this one. Yes, I do. Bear with me a second here. I want to give you guys the real deal so you guys could see everything back office. So we'll just pull this up here. And okay. So if we were to do impact, which is actually pretty easy. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Something like this. Okay, so if I did impact and I did generate, all I'm going to do 
is choose what I want to promote, click create, there's my link. I promote that link, people click, I get paid. Now, I'm going to want to run that through a link shortener. Um, I like to use my own domain link shortener, that way it's in conjunction with whatever I'm doing. So I bought the domain affiliatedude.com because that's an easy one. I could do like affiliatedude.com slash hosting, this.com slash this. Or if you were like the cooking guy or whatever, you can use that. It makes it way, way easier and everything goes to your uh, domain. Now, some key components of affiliate tracking. This is important. Pay attention. This is about to change. Right now, Google and other browsers are looking at doing away with third-party cookies. What does that mean? A third-party cookie is like this, and we'll try to explain it as best we can. Let's use the this here, okay? A third-party cookie. So right now, what happens is this, okay? If you are an affiliate marketer, what happens is you have an affiliate link just like I showed you with Impact. So here's your affiliate link dot whatever, there's your affiliate link. When this is clicked, okay, the minute it's clicked, it drops what's called a cookie. Here's our cookie. It's an oatmeal raisin cookie, just so we can pretend we're healthy today, right? That cookie goes on the user's computer, boop, downloads to their computer. It's like a little file, okay? That cookie then follows them around, and eventually, when they go to the website and buy, it says, hey, Marcus sent this guy, give him a check. Okay, that's how it works. Now, a third party cookie, a first party cookie would be Amazon. If you use an Amazon cookie and they go to the Amazon site, that is a first party cookie. Okay, if you're using impact, impact radius is what's called a second party cookie, okay? Some other networks might use what's called a third-party cookie, okay? Third-party cookies are like, okay, Facebook's going to put this pixel on your site, that's going to talk to my website, that's going to follow you on this website, and eventually when you order, we're going to know where it came from, okay? That is known as more invasive type things, okay? More invasive cookies. Most of us are not going to need to worry unless you're using a lot of different networks and things like that. Okay, so that's how cookies work. That's how all this stuff works. Not too difficult, not too much to worry about. Um, the networks are going to catch up. Like if it affects it, they will catch up because they like money. Very important. Now, when we're talking about using link shorteners, if you're a part of blogprofitnetwork.com, I have my custom plugins. One of them is a link shortener, you can get that and use it. A lot of our, our students use that all the time. That is the one that I use on um, my site here. Like if you go in here, you can see Affiliate Marketing Nude Tracker. That's the old version. Um, and you can see, okay, when I did the, the TikTok video, there's that one, here's my hosting. And what it does is it actually shortens the URL. So here, let's say we're using iHost, affiliatemarketingdude.com slash iHost is where I can send them. Here's where it's actually taking them, right here. Okay, And see how it's partners.inmotionhosting.com slash, that is a first party cookie. It is on the domain they are going to be ordering on. Everyone follow along? You guys digging this? Uh, inner peace, just go to gohubsite.com. Okay, if someone declines all cookies, does it mean we lose the ability to get commissions? Depends on the site they're on, because chances are you're not going to see it. Like if I go here, okay, let's say I go to iHost, boom, cookie's already dropped, right? So that cookie is dropped already, whether they do this or not, okay? So now, except all cookies, there's probably one in here, performance, functional, necessary targeting. So this is all third party, okay? So I would be fine. Got it? Cool. Um, and this is stuff that a lot of people don't talk about because not everyone's got as much gray hair as I got in the affiliate industry. Kind of been around since the dawn of time, but you know, you learn a few things along the way. All right, best practices, link shortening, uh, custom tracking, checking your links regularly, deep linking. Deep linking is big. 
Deep linking is super big. On um, in motion and stuff like that, sometimes to get a better conversion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, I want them to go to the page where they sign up for WordPress hosting at $7. That's going to convert way better because if I'm out there talking, let's say you're doing Norton, okay? You're out there and you're promoting Norton. Norton. All right, and you're like, here's this virus video, here's this registry video, here's this one, here's all these videos. And in all the videos, you're saying, hey, the Norton that I use is the $47 XYZ plan. Okay, so if you send them to Norton and they have to go find the XYZ plan, your conversions are going to go in the toilet. Literally, flush that thing. They're out of there. So what we need to do is we need to say, hey, Norton, give us a deep link. This is the same kind of thing if, if I was to say, hey, guys, check it out. I got this new webcam. This is actually a good webcam. It's the ones that we use now. I bought like five of them. All right? Go to Amazon and get it. You're going to go to Amazon. You're going to search for it. And you're going to be like, Marcus, I couldn't find it. Okay, I'm not going to buy it. And you'll forget. How many times have you forgot to buy something that you really wanted and then later you were reminded? Same thing. So what we need to do, whether we're using Amazon or hosting, we need to use the exact link to the exact thing that we are promoting. Okay? Uh, ClickBank are first level cookies. I believe ClickBank falls under second. Uh, no, that would be first. Yeah, because they are ordering on ClickBank eventually. So that would be a first level. Correct. Yes. Um, yeah, because if the order page was hosted on your site, then it would be different. But it is hosted on the same domain that the cookies are from. So I think you're good to go. All right, so we need to use the exact link. Same with ClickBank. Uh, years ago, oh, there were people that would just link to one page rather than deeper pages that are about what we're talking about. Your job is to, to make sure your stuff converts. Um, in the world of affiliate marketing, it is, it is a big world. It is your job to make sure, hey, I need to find the one that's converting. I need to put them right to the, the, to the TFAL thing. I need to figure out who's going to pay me more. I need to do the work. You got to do the work if you want to get the paycheck, right? There you go. Um, and by paycheck, I mean commissions. And by commissions, I mean even though people have made millions of dollars with affiliate marketing, the results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. The average person makes nothing. But when we look at this, we need to understand, okay, what are we going to do? How is it going to work? I'm going to show you a couple little hacks. Some of them were based on that thing we searched. What was it? I think I have it up here. Right? Remember how earlier I said, if you search for, quote, don't forget to watch today's video on the next page. You're going to find like all those TikTokies that are promoting that interesting, not my favorite type of offer. All right. There's another little thing you can do. Check this out. This was something I did years ago. I'll put on the notes. I'm going to see if I can find it. Uh, affiliate do joggers, I think it was called. Check this out. This is a gold mine. I use this all the time um, to find niches. This and my domain strategy is, is off the hook. Um, and I don't toot my own horn on stuff, but those trainings are a little off the hook. The hooks over here, they're off the hook. They're, they're pretty good ones, right? And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at this, and we are going to use what's called a search jogger. It is time as an affiliate marketer that you learn how to use the internet in a different way. Super, super important, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to type things in like affiliate marketing disclosure in quotes. Amazon affiliate disclosure, in quotes. What is this going to do? This is going to show you all the people that are selling stuff on Amazon. Okay, I just scroll down here. I can take a look at what these sites are about. You guys ready for another hack? This is really cool. Okay, what I can do, and this this tool is over. There's a version of this tool. It's not my version. Mine's custom. Maybe we'll make it available someday. Uh, but it, it's similar, OK, over at theprofitscoop.com. What we're going to do is we're going to load up a bunch of sites like this, preference, preferably like 200. I'm going to click the tool. It's going to take all the domains. Watch this. You want to find niches in seconds? Type that in. Go to your favorite keyword tool, Ahrefs, SEMrush, whatever you like. All right. We are going to put all those URLs under bulk analysis. All right. This is why I pay for tools, like literally. For those that are complaining about tools, I 
probably pay like $20,000 a month for certain tools, maybe even more. Okay? So we're going to go here. Now, do you have to do that? No. When I started out, I got a keyword tool and web hosting. Okay, you could start with that. You could start this for a couple hundred bucks. You can even use free tools if you're willing to do the work. This makes it easier though, because boop, watch this. Here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. And you could see like coffee, approach, uh, all kinds of different things here. So now I can see at a glance, okay, these people are Amazon affiliates. They're still in business, which means they're probably making money. They're probably only relying on Amazon, which means we can do even better. And I can see niches at a glance and say, hey, there we go. Just uh, the other day, a client of mine uh, found me a domain. It was nice of me. He's like, hey, check out this domain. I think it was, let's see, it was Ahrefs. It was called candlemakingfun.com. Okay, I bought this one at auction. Let me show you why what I teach is so different than what so much of the market is doing. When you look at something like candle making fun, not only is it an easy, easy domain, I could go out there, I could do videos on candle making all over, right? You go out there, you're like TikTok, okay, uh, candle making, okay? Candle making, boom. There's people making candles, three million views, two million views, on and on we go. I mean, come on, this is huge. Candle making fun, Easy domain, easy to do. If I was in it to win it, and I got the domain, it wasn't even that expensive. It was like 500 bucks, all right? Some of them you can get for 10. Some you can get for five. It doesn't matter. But the reason I bought this one, and the reason it was like 500 bucks, is because it ranked for, let's go back, I think it was 2,000 a year ago, 3,000 words related to candle making. So I'm starting my affiliate business with a domain that has traffic, that I can rank for super easy, that I could build up, that is easy to remember, that I could put on TikTok, that I can make videos, faceless videos on YouTube, and I can build it up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, maybe, maybe there's like candle making stuff over here on Amazon. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff, cool. Maybe there is a candle making course on ClickBank. Maybe there is something on OfferVault for arts and crafts stores. All right, how many of you guys are getting this and you're like, oh, so what I do is I forget about all the noise in the market. I go and I pick something like candles, internet speed, viruses, cooking, pots and pans, and I go out there and I make content in a simple way, in a simple way that makes it work, okay? Very, very cool. So now we're looking at this and we're like, okay, this is great. Now I can go out there and make this work in a very simple way. Claudia says, I'll give, it, I'll give you 550 for it. What we're doing on that, what I do is I do this all the time. And since I know affiliate marketing, I know the sites I wanna buy and we sell them here with content. So like we take the domain that's probably worth a good penny we put 100 pieces of content based on what it ranked for. We walk you through the whole affiliate plan. Bada bing, bada boom, there you go. Here's one here, green roof guide. Why did I buy this? Solar, solar roofing leads, $90, $60, on and on we go. And this one ranked for all kinds of stuff around solar. And when you start to learn the proof's in the pudding, I can look at what people are doing. Like, look at this green roof one, greenroofguide.com, vertical garden, indoor living wall kits. I mean, this is an affiliate dream. How many of you guys are like, oh my God, that's, so all I do is make videos and content. I don't have to be in them. I can use AI around this stuff and I stick to the niche, stick to the niche. Watch this. Let's do a uh, vertical garden. Watch what happens if you go to Pinterest and you type in vertical garden. Hopefully it's clean, I don't know. Okay, good, we're, we're good. Sometimes, you know, they got new phrases for all kinds of things, and I'm like, that didn't mean what it meant when I was a kid. And, uh, that has a different meaning now, and you gotta, you gotta be careful with these things, right? And we're like, oh, check it out. Here's these people doing all different stuff about vertical gardening. I now have a domain in this market that's ready to go. I can do hydroponics, I can do ClickBank, I can sell the, uh, the wall plants, decorate. I mean, how many of you guys are getting it? 
Uh, Someone says, why are people selling good ranking domains instead of using them themselves? Good question. So what we're doing is we're buying them at auction, which means they got expired, people lost them. It could be all kinds of things. You guys probably saw the one we had for Moji Edit. This was a student of mine. Um, we bought this one back like a year ago, and then we took it over, and it got the traffic. Now, watch what happened. Right, watch what happens if you go to, I think if we go to overview. So we took it over in, I'm gonna say June-ish. So right here is when we took it over. Look what happened to this guy's site. He bought a domain from us, we walked him through it. Look at his traffic, skyrocketed. And all he's doing is following the plan. Here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen, hear me and hear me good. Pause for dramatic effect. Pay close attention to this. 99%. And this is an opportunity that if you want to make money with affiliate marketing, helping businesses, social media, whatever it is, pay close attention. 99% of affiliate marketers and influencers are completely oblivious to what their traffic is worth. Why? Because most affiliate marketers and influencers do not know the difference or that it's even out there what I just showed you with the pans, right? You could sell these pans and get $2 on Amazon, or 45 using what I'm teaching you. So they try with the two bucks and they're like, dude, bro, that affiliate marketing guy don't know what he's talking about. How am I gonna get rich selling pans and getting two bucks? Well, you'd have to sell like more pans than are probably made to make a good living. That was a joke, calm down. So they're stuck over here and they're like, oh man, I'm only getting a penny EPC, remember that number? What gives? If he came to me and I said, use the conversion strategies, use the mailing list stuff I teach you, use this link instead of that link, he's gonna take his 200 bucks a month and he probably turn it into like 5K a month. At $200 a month, yeah, they're just gonna forget about their domain, whatever, they're probably breaking even. 5,000 a month, that's a different story. And I've seen it time and time again. Someone comes to me, Marcus, I don't understand why my traffic's not making money. Because you're not focusing on EPC, you're not focusing on conversion, you're not listening to your market, you're not a business person. You're good at getting traffic, sure. But what are you gonna do with that traffic? And there's lots of blogging courses that teach this stuff. And I look at the stuff because I'm nosy when it comes to other affiliates. I gotta, I gotta admit it, I gotta see what people are doing. It's half of my business here, right? And so I'm gonna look at it and say, hey, what are they doing? What are they making, why? How would I make more? And this is something you can do, you can go to Flippa. If you want a affiliate marketing course in addition to the one, I'm gonna give you free today, right? In addition to what you're watching here, if you dig it, smash the like button. Um, do this, do yourself a favor. Take a day, don't watch webinars. Go over to Flippa, okay? Flippa.com. And open Offer Vault and ClickBank. And I want you to pretend that your job is to go to websites, content, blog. Your job. Do this for a day. You will learn more than most courses teach you. Just saying it like it is. You probably learn more than most courses just by being here today. Thank you, I appreciate you. Look at this. So we're gonna go through and say, okay, this guy's making $5,000 a month and he generates a lot of traffic. How would I do better? All right, what you do, you take his URL, you put it in the keyword tool, you look at where his traffic's coming from and you say, what would I do to do better? This guy here is making $190 a month. How would you make more than that? Because if you could crack that code, oh buddy, it is game over, you win. If you crack that code, it is over, over. Here's another one, shopping. 
2600 a month. And if you can do better, that's the key. Now, again, remember, we took this list of URLs from the Google search with Amazon Disclosure, which I'll get you guys in the notes. We'll have the full list of them, don't worry. And we're going to go in and see. So like SoundShock Audio looks like some audio thing. We're going to get past all these bigger guys. And we're going to go to Robot Cleaner Store. Okay, here's a guy reviewing and talking about robot cleaners. Could you not go on TikTok? Okay, I'll tell you a little story. My wife got one of those uh, Roombas. Can't stand the thing. I think it like literally wants to attack my feet. I, like I wake up in the morning and it's like, feet are, and it like you know, I trip over it and I just hate the thing. I can't stand it. But at any rate, you can make videos about your. How many of you guys have a Roomba or one of those robot vacuums? Right. I'll bet you there are people on TikTok with robot vacuums. And one of the things you want to get views. Uh, what we do is we put my dog's toys on the Roomba and they go around and she's scared of it. So she'll just watch her toys and she'll follow it around watching her toys. Yes, I know it's cruel, but she does. It's a fun game. She likes it. She you know, wags her tail and everything. But at any rate, that would be a fun little thing that you can do. It's actually very simple. And you're like, okay, that can work. Um, and that is how you can do affiliate marketing. And then you go over here and you're like, okay, maybe there's a um, vacuum. Uh, let's do, what would we do? Let's do it over here, just in case. Um, vacuum Roomba, I think it's called. Yeah, there we go. So Roomba has affiliate programs, right? There you go. Roomba, $26, $13. Again, the difference is going to be, here's a, um, a lead one. So this is a sweepstakes to win a Roomba. They put their email, maybe their phone number or something like that in, and I get 250 Here's another sweepstakes one. Um, so I could, I could literally just generate leads for it, which is really cool, which is cool. Uh, they're saying that she programmed it. She probably did program it to come after my feed. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. But at any rate, uh, when we're looking at this, we want to look at the different things that are out there because that guy has all that traffic around best uh, litter for litter robot, um, pool vacuum. All this guy's doing is talking about vacuums and cleaners. And we could see um, WordPress, Kitchen. Uh, you have fly fishing. So this one's about fly fishing, right? And I got, let me, let me find something for you. One minute. You guys will dig this story. I, I actually collect old books and magazines from old advertisements of crazy things that made money. And years ago, I was talking, um, and, I, and I found this one, which is a book of a guy who sold fishing lures in the Great Depression, and the dude was making like the equivalent of like 500 grand a day, or not a day, 500 grand a year, back in the Depression, right? Which is crazy. It was like, everyone was struggling. This guy was running lure ads, which here you have this one, which is about fly fishing, and it's like, hey, check it out. That's a niche that can work. Fly fishing, different flies, different stuff like that. And you could do, uh, you know, I'm sure there's stuff for fishing or whatever, um, and different things like that. And when you understand, wow, this is super, super big, this is cool, right? And, and this is a great way. Here's the pool guy, fly fishing. And you can see, oh, hey, what, what gets most traffic? Because, like, if you can do different stuff here and say, oh, maybe I could go for words that he doesn't get, like the reels, um, then you can do this in a really, really easy way. We also have uh, history. So that looks like a history site where they're teaching history. You want to do an AI faceless channel, you can do this kind of stuff. Again, what's going to happen is people don't know how to convert it. Well, let me give you another tip. Right? You guys digging this? Smash that like button if you're digging it. Um, another tip, look for big websites that run Taboola. Taboola and other... Uh, Ad networks, or like contextual ad networks, are like clickbaity type ads. Whenever those are ran, it usually means that the person running them doesn't know how to monetize their traffic the best way they can. We can go out there and look at what they're doing and saying, what keywords are they using? How can we do better? We always want to do better and maximize every click. I learned this the hard way when the first Google crash happened in, I think it was 2006 or 2005. Um, I had to learn how to buy traffic fast, and I, to date, I've spent over $2 million on paid traffic. And when you pay for clicks, 
you have to convert them. Like when I was doing the MySpace ad I showed you in the beginning, I had to pay five cents, two to five cents per visitor. You might say, well, two cents, Marcus, what's your problem, dude? Well, we were doing that like 20,000 times a day. Yeah, it starts to add up. When you're paying that, I needed to make sure I was making five cents a click. Because if I wasn't, I was losing money. And so we had to look at that and understand, okay, how do I do this? If I'm doing celebrity stuff, is there an offer that I can use? Uh, the same guy who got the Moji site got a fact site. We're doing a lot of videos for him right now. We have a full service marketing agency uh, that I started in August and it's our video stuff with AI is crazy good. And so we're looking at that, we're like, what can I do to get them in? And he has fact videos, uh, how fast does a moose swim? You know, how many you know, lives does a cat have? Or whatever it is, all kinds of facts. And the goal is, okay, how can we be creative and make more money on that rather than the normal one cent per click? And we start to look at this and you will find niches. Here's a guy with a, a parrot website about parrots, right? Um, here's Genius Link, which is a, a link shortener. All right, let's see what they're link shortening and see what people are clicking there. Walgreens affiliate program, right? So like this here, I could see there's a lot of good keywords that I would probably use, okay? Very cool. Um, someone remind me to talk about email marketing. I'll just put EM here because there's a little hack that I use with email marketing that's very important if you're using networks, okay? So uh, keyword tools, Google Planner, SEMrush, Ahrefs, the Hoth, lots of keyword tools there. Now, when you're looking at SEO, what you're doing is you're talking about ranking on Google. Like these guys are ranking on Google. So the fly fishing guy or the parrot. Can parrots have grapes? What he's doing is he's ranking on Google for parrot words. Okay, here he is here, and he's leading them to offers. Okay, now a lot of these people aren't going to get the big money offers. Like I'll go here, he probably has some good stuff he can do. It looks like a shopping place. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, well, does pet insurance work for birds? Because if it does, then I'm in, the, I'm in the clear. I can get $100 a sale. That's going to look really good. All right, very cool. Lots of stuff you can do here. Uh, we talk about SEO here on the channel all the time. Now, again, remember with the FTC guidelines, you do need to post that you are an affiliate. Got to disclose, hey, I'm an affiliate of this offer. I get paid. Why do we need to do that? You might be saying, man, that FTC, you know, what's, well, why do they make us do that? Well, the reason they make you do that is because I, if I come on here, and I tell you I'm just a nice guy talking about a product I like. Case in point, you want to learn about why the FTC is big on affiliate disclosures? Because of one guy, it's not because of, but this will make sense, Sam Bankman Freed. Sam Bankman Freed went out there and got influencers to promote his crypto scheme. Biggest scheme scam ever. Guy built tons of money. Now, what happened... <coughs> One second. Is he got influencers to promote it, but the influencers didn't tell people they were paid. So you thought, oh, hey, he invests in that. That's probably pretty good. If there's no clear line that you are being compensated, then your review is going to be seen as non-biased. But it is biased. Your review is biased because you are getting paid as an affiliate. All the people who promoted Sam Bankman Freed, that's the deal. They were biased because, hey, they were, they were being paid. That is why that is in place. It is a good thing to have in place. Another one that a lot of people ignore, you know, you hear me say it all the time, the results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. <coughs> Whenever you are sharing a result, hey, this guy used my fishing lure and caught 40 fish. Okay, what does the average person do? Well, the average person catches one fish or zero. You have to state the average, and if you don't know the average, you need to say the average person gets nothing or we don't know what it is. This is exceptional results. Very, very important. And you have to look at that because, hey, this is a business. It's not very difficult. It's not very hard. A lot of people can do it, but you have to be on the up and up here, okay? Um, another one is privacy policy and stuff like that. Now, with email marketing, I have made millions of dollars with email as an affiliate. There are several things you need to look at. What there is, is one, when doing email marketing, okay? So let's say you're out there and you're on the TikTok and you got traffic 
like the, the fly fishing guy or the parrot site, and you decide to build a mailing list. Hey guys, opt in, put your name and email to get my fly fishing newsletter. Okay? If you are an affiliate and you want to send an offer, let's say Frank Abergast comes out with a new lure or whatever. I don't think so. I think the guy's been gone a while, but if he did come out with one and you promoted it, let's say you send an email and you say, hey, my buddy Frank has this new lure. Click here to buy it. You send them right to Frank's website as an affiliate and you make money. Now, this is subject to what's called a suppression list. Pay close attention. I'm going to teach you something very important. A suppression list means if anyone anywhere on the planet said, I don't want emails from Frank, you need to respect that. Because technically, you are sending an email that is about Frank's offer. They are opting out of an offer. Hmm, wait a minute. So they opt out of an offer, which means if you send it, you are now a spammer and can be subject to all that junk. Didn't think about that, did you? A lot of the other people don't teach you this stuff. What's the way around this? Well, if any of you guys have ever been to downloadmynotes.com and you got my notes, you'll notice that in my email list, all I do is send helpful stuff. I never send, click here and buy this thing. Maybe once every 10 years do I do that, right? What do I do instead? I send, hey guys, this morning you got an email for this webinar. Or here's an email for this. So what you would do is you make a blog post. Hey guys, here's 10 tips for your next fly fishing trip. Send them that. Tip number five, get the lure. That way your email is about your content. This makes the amount of people who click go up. This makes your email list love you. This makes you way more money in the long run. And your list is going to be much happier. Why? Because you're like, hey, got another tip. Hey, the other day I fly fished with this crazy thing I found in the fridge. And the fish were biting like crazy. You want to learn what it is? Go to my blog. Oh, hey, by the way, on the blog I'm going to have a link for this new lure. Does that make sense? Very cool. Um, Roger said, Frank Kern had a parrot site when he got started. Yes, uh, fun fact, I was the one who promoted that site. Uh, he called me out of the blue in 2003, and we got to talking, uh, you know, became friends, talked about family and stuff. This is before he, he moved to California, um, and we promoted that site. There's actually an audio floating around somewhere that uh, we recorded his testimonial of it, because he loved uh, the way that we did SEO back then. Actually, Frank was uh, the reason I got really big into affiliate marketing because he was like, dude, the traffic you're getting me for my parrot book is outselling traffic I'm buying. And then, you know, I was like, oh, cool. And he's like, well, why don't you try some affiliate stuff? And that's what got me into it big time was he was like, why, do you, why deal with customers if you can do this, uh, which is really cool. And you start to understand, hey, this is a big, big business. This makes a lot of money. So again, Looking at this, it's very important to understand exactly how you're going to build this. Now, with me, I highly recommend that you get a website. Like Every affiliate should have a website, should have a mailing list. I mean, literally, you could get a website for free, or you could go to gohubsite.com and start one for like $100 a year. Um, we'll have some links in the course, uh, which we'll have over at downloadmynotes.com. Um, some email list stuff you can use. Very simple, very easy. And what you're going to want to do is really focus on getting that, getting that following, getting those people that are interested in whatever it is. Whether it's something like a um, SEO like this, here's an entrepreneur one, or smarty and crafty, right? This is one that I could use like, like the candle one we're building up. Um, very simple. And what we're doing is we're utilizing traffic that would work in a simple way. So like this, like something like this, okay, they're doing... Uh, Disney characters that start with an X or an R or an M. Um, again, thinking about this, my specialty has and always is. I'm not good at a lot of things. I'm not that great on camera. My video editing skills are lacking. I'm not great at SEO. There is one thing I'm really, really good at, and that is taking traffic that people don't know how to convert and making it convert. 
And what we want to do here is we want to think, okay, if these people are doing Disney characters, what do they want? Ladies and gentlemen, this is important. This is what we call intent based marketing. What is the intent? Maybe they're looking to play a game. Maybe they are interested in Disney. Obviously they are. So what can we do with it? We're going to go over to our offer vault, our ClickBank. We're going to try to find offers that would work for them. Maybe there's like a Disney credit card that gives them all kinds of rewards or something we can do. Maybe there's a, a thing where they can get Disney Plus. Maybe, maybe Disney Plus has an affiliate program. Um, and lots of stuff like that. And when we start to realize my job is to get as much, because if I can make money on this traffic, there ain't no competition. There's none. I can do AI. I can do videos. It's insane. You see them everywhere, right? Like the smiley faces videos and stuff like that. Um, and if I can find the right offer that makes sense, like this here, okay? Maybe I could do Disney, Disney um, streaming, Disney Paris trip, sweepstakes. That would work well, right? So Disneyland four tickets, sweepstakes. Obviously, make sure these are good offers. Disney cruise, email submit. Hey, while you're getting your list of Disney princesses that start with an R, is there one? Rapunzel, there we go. I get an A for effort, right? Um, and you, you're like, okay, while you're doing that, why don't you put your name and email in to win a, a Disney trip? I get $2.50 or $3.50 for that. Again, we're looking at the EPC. How am I going to earn the most money on this traffic? And going through this, it's like, okay, could I duplicate that? Could I get that traffic? Yeah, that ain't hard to do at all, right? Characters that start with this. And then you can even do, hopefully it's clean, yeah, easy drawings, uh, different games, icebreakers. I mean, how many of you guys are like, okay, I'm getting it. This totally makes sense. And I don't even have to do SEO. I can do um, origami on, uh, on uh, TikTok, right? You just show how to do or Go get a bunch of origami for $9 on Amazon, fold a bunch of stuff, and make videos with some music in the background. You will get traffic if you do it enough and you look at your data. You will get traffic. It's not hard to do. Then you just take them to your site and you're like, hey, here we go, here's a origami set. Thinking differently is key. I remember years ago when I was doing affiliate marketing for gas powered scooters, um, the affiliate companies paid like 3% commission. They were terrible. I made, I don't even think I made a sale as an affiliate for, for those. And so what I did is I'm like, well, I have traffic, it's not selling, let me do drop shipping. Again, when you look at this, what is affiliate marketing? Affiliate marketing is nothing more than a profit center. Affiliate marketing and drop shipping and selling your own products and e-commerce and software as a service and all of these fun little buzzwords are fancy ways of saying that's how you're going to get paid. Remember in the beginning of this training where I said, one, traffic, conversion, traffic, conversion, conversion, the scooters as a drop shipper, the affiliate programs, the this, the that, the whatever. Traffic. If you focus on getting traffic and you focus on converting it, game over, you win. That's what you are. An affiliate marketer is a glorified traffic getter, right? Directing traffic where we need to get money. Uh, very simple. So we look at this and we're like, oh, hey, I can go through. I can look at all these niches um, and see all this stuff. Gluten-free kitchen. You can talk about gluten-free kitchen stuff. Um, soap. Time soap, uh, interior design tips, rings for women. There you go, rings for women. Those are expensive. There it is, right? And you can do all kinds of stuff. Show all kinds of different things like that. Very, very, very simple. And what we're doing is we're looking at where the traffic is, we're looking at the data, and we're making very simple stuff. Um, Ed, how do you build your WordPress simple sites? So we use WordPress, and I use simpleblogtheme.com. Over at simpleblogtheme.com, you get the themes that we create. Um, that's ours we made for you. We got lots of free stuff. I mean, I got tons of giveaways for you guys. Um, but all kinds of different stuff like that. And when you're looking at affiliate marketing, you just need to understand that if you can drive the traffic, you are going to win. Game over. Now, you're going to see some huge, huge examples over there, right? Huge examples. But what, all we need to do is do a good job and focus on traffic. You get the traffic, then you can make the money. If you're not focusing on building up an audience or building up a blog with traffic, 
you need to be focusing on that. 90% of your effort needs to be there. Very important. Um, and you, you look at that and you're like, hey, this is really cool. And so now you just go through and you find your niche and you make it work. Now make sure that your niche has money. Uh, that glorified traffic getter part is what I've, I've been understood, haven't quite mastered. Well, let me tell you, I did a video years ago. People think that getting traffic is the hard part of internet marketing. It's a hard part of affiliate marketing. It's not. It's consistency and deliberate niche. If you can be deliberate, I'm going to talk about a fishing lure every day, and I'm going to base it on data. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to look at the data of the keywords people are looking up, and I'm going to go down the list. I'm not going to go out and, and, and make up my own stuff. I'm going to do something very specific. And over time, like if you were out there, and you're like, today's video is about can parrots have grapes? Can they have blueberries? And we're going to talk about all this stuff and you just keep going, your people will find you. Why? A lot of people say, oh, there's the algorithm. Dun, 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 dun. Marcus, the algorithm doesn't like me. The algorithm exists for one purpose. On TikTok, on YouTube, on Facebook, it exists for one purpose and one alone. To find people that want to watch the content that is created. That's it. Like this video right now, YouTube's out there trying to find people who might want to watch this content. That's what they're doing. Why did I make this how to start affiliate marketing step by step? Because I want to teach it again? Not really. I, I wasn't feeling good today. I probably would have rather just stayed home today. But I did this because I know people are searching for it. Other videos that have similar titles are getting traction. So I put mine in there, and the algorithm's gonna go and try to find it. And if you keep doing this, you'll get better and better, and people will find you. Um, TY says, the people that made the most money in the gold rush in the US history were people who sold all the mining tools. That's incorrect. Actually, more money in gold was gotten out of the ground than people who sold shovels. That's a common misconception, but you know, nonetheless, it is not the truest of things. Um, that's like saying, shovels and, and picks are worth more than all the gold in the world. I, I disagree. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty good with numbers, but uh, you know, you do the math there and look at that. Now, is that to say that you can't go out there? Like there's a, a big blogger. Um, he's got some pretty good videos. What's his name? Um, something with an A. What's that guy's name? My brain is tired today. Adam. Adam M. Froy. Adam M. Froy. He does a lot of um, internet marketing, blogging, and stuff like that. And um, his main niche is, is tools and tips for, for bloggers and things like that, uh, which is cool. You know, he's got quite a few things. Does he make a good living at it? Yeah. But I will tell you, for every person that's talking about how to make money online, you get this all the time. People are like, oh, the only money is in teaching how to make money. That is so not true. Amazon makes a lot of money, and they don't teach people how to make money, and they do have an affiliate program. Uh, when you look at stuff like this, okay, there are people doing this, but look at the data. We just took a snapshot of random affiliates that are doing Amazon, right? You have like, um, let's see, Pinterest, you have a robot cleaner store, you have uh, the last stitch. And case in point, there was a, you want a good affiliate training. There was a video I did like three years ago, maybe four years ago on the Honey app. The Honey app, make, it, it got sold to PayPal for $4 billion. And guess what it was? It was an affiliate link tool. That's all it was. And when people understand that, it's like, oh my God, there's people in this industry that are doing big that have nothing to do with making money or this or that. And you start to understand this is so much bigger than us and you can literally make money sharing links in a very simple way. And you see, hey, this is pretty cool. This works. And you start to understand, here's stand-up paddleboard reviews. Here's one here that's talking about stand-up paddleboards. There you go. And literally, you just look at what they're doing and you say, okay, how can I 
do a good job? How can I make a following in a similar niche like this and make a lot of money? Because there is so much money out there, it is not even funny. Now, we are going to have the notes. We're going to have the giveaway and all that other stuff over at uh, downloadmynotes.com. If you guys have watched this and you're like, I want to learn affiliate marketing from you, check out blogprofitnetwork.com or highticketniches.com. we got a lot of tools and resources. Uh, we have calls every Tuesday to help you guys out. We are here to help you make this stuff work. So check out downloadmynotes.com, smash the like button, and I'll see you in the next video.